That's right, campers. It's Joe Hurley's Irish Rock Review at Webster Hall. A personal invite. Right on by. I'll get down to you in. We do, you know, exciting and interesting events all year long. But this, uh, this is a cool event too. And then if you put the, the Irish on top of it, sure, I might uh, have a, a wee bit uh, more fun with this one. You in your hotel room, ready to leave this world. So you call reception for a wake-up call, girl. You're nice, black as coal. You think she's going to fill that hole? Her purse sounds like maracas as she saunters down the street. Pill popping curves, how's that keyboard sound, Gazza? She's spouting Shakespeare, dressed in polka dotted sheets. My father, who I said earlier, is from Ireland, and he's a retired New York City transit police officer, but his birthday is St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so that's, uh, it's always a big day in our house. We, uh, you know, I've marched in the St. Patrick's Day parade, I think like uh, 35 of the 38 years I'm alive. I missed four days of high school and it was St. Patrick's Day those four years because it's my dad's birthday. We marched with the cops up Fifth Avenue. Hello, and my name is Ed Torres, and I am with the committee to save St. Bridget's Church in Lower Manhattan. The history of St. Bridget's starts in 1848, when many Irish immigrants fleeing the Great Hunger came here to the shores of New York. And one of the first things they did was built a church in honor of St. Bridget. The church is 160 years old and is now in danger of demolition. Joe Hurley, Webster Hall, St. Bridget's is all an integral part of what makes the Lower East Side the Lower East Side. So tonight, Joe Hurley was gracious enough to give us a portion of the balcony so we can have a fundraiser and raise some funds for this important event. So yeah, this is, a, this is exciting. It is, particularly this year because I'm back at Webster Hall and I have a hand in producing uh, an event in this 40,000 square foot architectural wonder, you know? Look, here's my spot and this guy beat me right into it. Oh, some nice Irish lads. How are you guys today? You guys, a personal invite. Where? To Joe Hurley's. Joe Hurley's. Joe Hurley's. Ninth Annual All-Star Irish Rock Review at Webster Hall. Come tonight. It's a great show, guys. And the hills are locked. The plates are neither stacked. The bread and wine are here. What they said is true. Ready, Oscar, can you come here for a second? Tara still has questions about the bar. Can you answer her questions? Georgie and Suki? Oh, and Susie, okay. Please make sure all the St. Bridges people, I want them to know how to get their open bar, okay? A few of these people got in before we opened. We didn't open the doors yet. That's where the confusion has come from. That's where the confusion has come from. The bar, what happened to the bar? They were supposed to leave up the big bar on stage, and now there's nothing. You're fucking kidding me, right? I, I was told you're fucking kidding me. How could that be allowed to happen? Use this hell, you're a good soul. Come on. I was told that we weren't going to use the bar, that I had four guys hump up here last night and then just hump out of here again five minutes ago. I don't even know what, what we're arguing, what the point is. The VIPs, I'm told, are the people that pay for the VIPs. No? So it 
It's either the wristband or the badge. Either one. Either one. Either one gets them upstairs, Dre, all righty? Okay, that wasn't actually as uh, brutal as I thought it was going to be. Now let's maybe go outside and see uh, what's going to happen out there. Or what's happening out there. You and the two girls can get in, but those two boys cannot. Can we uh, pull that Budweiser uh, sign light there for me, please? We do have a strict dress code. Back up for a second. I don't care who made it or what. You got drawstrings? Remind me of those. Don't let me forget those, okay? Please, Rosie. Thank you. Would you wear this to a wedding? No. Would you do it to a special event? No. Okay, then it's not really appropriate for here. Crazy? No, like crazy like I rolled out of bed looking like this. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't like this. That shit is scratched right there on the D.O.B. And he's got sneakers on. I don't like that. Oh, it was a great night, guys. It was good. It's nice to see the East Village show up, too, like the real characters. When you think of Joe Hurley, like, he's like, when, it, when, Joe, when the Joe Hurleys of the neighborhood disappear, that, that kind of goes, a lot of the East Village goes with it. So you want to hang on and support the gang, you know? And I think that's what Webster Hall tries to do. Hello, everybody there. This is my mother, Helen McNamee. This is her husband of uh, nearly 40 years, Gerard McNamee. His birthday is today. This is, uh, what do you mean? It's Monday. Well, St. Patrick's Day. It's actually Monday, but it's St. Patrick's Day here tonight. Then. Michael McNamee, my father's brother. And this is uh, Mary Claire Campy and my sister. They're here tonight to say hello, to check out the scene, and uh, that's about all the time we have for you right now. So excuse us, we're going inside. All right, Riley, get him in there, brother. Webster Hall is being designated historical for all the things that have gone on and what it's meant to the community. And I like to think that we played a part in that, you know, that we contributed to that thinking. And hopefully thousands of years or hundreds of years from now, people can always come back and enjoy Webster Hall and dance and sing. I mean, that's an important part, you know, as it is to get educated or it is to work in the financial building. you got to have fun. I mean, people have always had fun. And so we're like the, the people that help create fun.